What's up guys and welcome to another review video and obviously this one is going to be a lot shorter because it's about Port Vale and if you wasn't the Port Vale game which a lot of less people were because it's an FA Cup game and stuff and less people you, anyway you know why less people come that I'm not bothered about and like the scoreline we got though we got a decent scoreline which we won by more than one goal or two or three we won by four we won 4-0 so I was very happy about it because that meant we actually have the ability to score more than one goal more than they did I mean obviously it's Port Vale they're a mid-table side in League One if you didn't expect us to win I wouldn't actually blame you but otherwise we should have won and we did we played being pretty much a second string team the main team was basically just had a week off a few of them were on the bench Moy came on for like the last 20 minutes or something like that basically we just didn't play a full team on purpose and we didn't need to that's why Izzy Brown started his first game for the club on his birthday as well 20th birthday I think I don't know what how old he is but he signed played his first game and he didn't do bad but he wasn't exceptionally good because he couldn't do any better it was like no Messi couldn't have done better than him because Messi wouldn't have needed to do better to look good if that makes any sense at all but the game itself was pretty much the basic standard we got at least six I think of 67% possession way more shots than them way more shots on target than them the only time I got worried is one time when they got the ball and then one of their strikers or something took the ball forward he was quite quick got through like one or two defenders we dealt with it in the end the game sorted easy Izzy Brown pretty damn good can't wait for him to play more games Wally back as well I'm glad he's back he's shooting let's not talk about shooting, don't, don't need to talk about that. But the rest of his game was brilliant, took people on just as we liked him to, just as we've needed to, but he actually made an in-product with the balls he put in the box and stuff. As for the actual Port Vale fans themselves, firstly, congrats on bringing 1,500 fans to the mighty fortress, the John Smith Stadium. <laughs> but secondly, well actually this is kind of like a rumour theory or whatever, why was Leeds fans in there? Apparently there was Leeds fans in there. I'm not going to talk about that, apparently there was. But either way, why was you basically trying to just become hooligans because you're playing a team that's well bigger than you and you've brought a decent amount of fans they think let's just try and act like we're hard. At the start of the game, just before it, literally all of them at the bottom of the their stand started to just chat shit for no reason to all the people in our stand we wasn't doing anything at all it just was pretty funny that they started to do that for absolutely no reason before the game had even kicked off and then during the game they were all just mouthing off all the time and then half of them started getting kicked out and by the time the game was finished there, there was not 1,500 Port Vale fans, there was much less. <laughs> not only because we were winning 4-0 by this point, but because half of them had just been kicked out because they were acting like cunts. It was pretty funny, I can't really describe what it was like unless you was there. If you was at the game, then you know exactly how it was like, especially if you're in the South Stand, you've seen it all. If you wasn't, I can't describe what it was like to be a fan and watch whatever they were doing. <laughs> but otherwise, on a positive note, back to the footballing side, we won 4 0, which is confidence for the second team, which is good in case they need to get brought in for the main team. Secondly, the main team get a rest, which is good for the Chef Wednesday game, which we need them fully fit for, so we can hopefully win. And thirdly, we've got Lolly back, that's, that's, about, that's about it, that's all I really cared about. In fact, no, fourthly, we've also got Izzy Brown. So yeah, that's kind of the Portfolio game summed up. Kind of short, I think. I don't know, I can't tell, I haven't edited this yet, but that was it. So let me know your thoughts about. If you really have any thoughts about the Port Vale game, it doesn't really matter. If you were in the South Stand or whatever, or if you know what Port Vale fans were doing, talk about that, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think of Izzy Brown and coming into the side and if you think he's going to be good. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the Wednesday game, which is Saturday the 14th, next Saturday from now. And yeah, that is it. I am also going to that game as well, so there'll be one of these for that. If you did enjoy anyway, smash the like button. If you're new in here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Both all things are down below. Nevertheless, I'll see you guys in my next video. And yeah, that's it. See ya.